Weather Rate certified 10 years in a row. All right, switching gears now to the weather, and it's Monday. We need to know what to expect the rest of the week. Yeah, we've been gone for a couple of weeks, Alana, but uh, it's the same as when we left. More winter weather coming through. Which is, we're okay with that, right? <laughs> I mean, I feel like we needed to bring in those storms, and we're going to continue to do that. It was a dry start to the Monday that we saw, but now things are going to start to change. Live look at Logan where I know it's 11 degrees right now in Logan. Cache Valley really socked in with those inverted conditions and it is cold there, which means as the storm rolls in, it's going to be straight snow in Logan. We're going to talk about that. Also, moderate air quality, not just in Cache Valley. We're seeing that in Salt Lake County to Willow County, and that's expected to hold on into tomorrow as the system that comes through will clip northern Utah. I would say Ogden Valley to Cache Valley, best chance of seeing some snow, but Parley's at Park City will be part of that too. Cleaner air on the eastern side of the state and in southern Utah. So, inversion haze out there today, keeping us very cold. Storms are on the way. That brings the wet weather, which we desperately need and welcome. We get a slight warming trend as we make it through. The week and clear out the inversion. It will allow our temperatures to bump up. This is what it looked like right before sunset. Monticello, thank you to Kaylee Dalton for sending that our way, which really shows the cloud cover has pushed over into the Four Corners area and encompassed the entire Beehive State. See it here on the satellite radar. Our area of high pressure is going to slide to the east, move out of the way, and here comes that front. It's going to come through and clip northern Utah and bring impacts to our morning commute. This area of low pressure as it moves inland over the next couple of days will actually send a series of disturbances throughout Utah. So we'll have a few fronts that come on through. Central and southern Utah will stay mostly dry with partly cloudy conditions, but in the north, it's a bit of a different story. We get a winter weather advisory going into effect at 5 a.m. tomorrow. The mountains are included, Uintas and Wasatch, but so are the mountain valleys. So Logan, Park City, the backside of the Wasatch, this applies to you. You're looking at accumulating snow with the winter weather advisory holding on until 5 a.m. Thursday. So that gives you an idea of the series of fronts and how unsettled we will actually be into tonight, cold temperatures. And we will start to see that moisture moving in early tomorrow morning. Here we are by 8 a.m. Look at Logan. So we are expecting mountain passes to be very sloppy with blowing snow. Sardine Summit, Logan Canyon, you know I'm talking to you. Also, Cache Valley and the surrounding areas. This does include Highway 89, I-15. Here we are by noon, and you can see that moves into the Ogden Valley, where we're expecting one to three inches there. Backside of the Wasatch, we'll see some snow, and then it pushes into Summit County as well. Here we are by 7 p.m. Mountain snow holds on, and we get a lull in the activity, but that break doesn't last forever because Tuesday night into Wednesday morning, we get another disturbance coming through, and that does bring the possibility of rain mixing in with the snow for the valleys, but mountain snow yet again. So unsettled as we make it through this week. For Tuesday, 5 a.m. to 3 p.m., this is how much to expect. Trace to two inches for our benches and valleys, one to three for places like Logan. Park City, backside of the Wasatch, Northern Mountains, two to five. Not a tremendous amount of moisture, but just enough to hamper that morning commute. I know you don't love that. Here we go. 20s for tonight, 30s for tomorrow. Once we clear the inversion, we should actually warm up a little bit here. Vernal, cold, one overnight. Price, nine. It's going to be really cold start to the day. Those temperatures in the 30s. 40s with partly cloudy skies in central and southern Utah. 46 in St. George. Where we see those temperatures climbing into the 50s. Chance of some rain on Saturday as another storm rolls in. Could be a statewide storm Friday night into Saturday because that's going to impact the Wasatch Front. Now, with the temperatures warming, we do bring the potential for that mixed precipitation, but an active pattern. Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday. A break on Friday, but another storm on Saturday. So we have active skies holding on throughout the week in northern Utah, and we'll take all the moisture we can get. Hello, January. Glenn, Emily, over to you. All right, yes, 